You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey, everyone, and welcome to your last chance. Just kidding. Welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Pablo. And my name is Roberto. I think maybe you'll actually hear a little bit more about what he meant when he said last chance here pretty soon. But welcome to episode number 826. As always, as every time, without fail, we're very, very thankful that you're spending a few minutes of your day with us. We are very grateful and very appreciative that you decide to spend your time with us because we appreciate that you spend your time with us. And, uh, you know, we all have things to work on, like myself. Being humble, appreciative, grateful, you know, one of those things. Uh, but we can always get better. So today we're going to be talking about why sometimes your brand new batteries tend to fail. How can you watch out for potential errors when buying new batteries and other drone accessories? Today's episode is brought to you by a secret little discount for you. That's right. If you want to go to the drone you fly in and you want a discount, use discount code last chance for what is it? A hundred bucks off? Hundred bucks off all three aspects of. Oh, so this is like a double discount. It's like a triple discount. It ultimately ends up being a three hundred dollar discount. So you could get the business course, and the ten flight exercises, and compete for a new drone, and compete for cash, and go to a mixer, and over a dozen classes. Some taught by really huge industry leaders. And do the light painting class. And the light painting class. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. www.droneuflyin.com. Hi, Paul and Rob. This is Marianne from Alberta, Canada. I have a question about batteries. I have a virtually new battery for my uh, Phantom 4, and it had been discharged 10 times, so I thought, well, I'll do a deep cycle recharge, and um, I let it you know, drain all the way down, and then I hovered the drone for a little while, and then it self-landed, and then I continued to let it go until it stop running and now that battery isn't working and um, one of the areas is at only 4.15 volts so I'm wondering did I do something wrong and um, also is there a way to get this battery back can I discharge it again and you know renew something or have I just lost this battery now so all right thanks very much guys I just love what you guys are doing um you offer so much stuff for free but i highly recommend the membership because the amount of information in there is just absolutely staggering so good luck guys uh thanks for everything that you do we'll talk to you soon bye-bye thank you marianne for being a long time member of the drone you community we do appreciate it do appreciate you reaching out to us as often as you do Love to hear from folks up north in Canada. It's always a pleasure. And it doesn't sound like she did anything wrong with her battery. I don't think so, but she's extremely intelligent because she knows exactly what to look for with the damaged battery, which is when all of your cells, so for example, a phantom battery has four cells. When those four cells have a variance of voltage of, I think it's 0.05 or 0.1 volts unloaded, uh, in one particular cell that you have a bad cell and you could potentially have a problem. Now, why does this happen? Well, typically when people buy batteries, when they buy batteries from places like Best Buy, um, some hobby shops that don't have high volume, you can buy batteries that may have been sitting on the shelf for a significant amount of time, maybe three, four months. That can be problematic because here's the thing. With those batteries, sitting on the shelf over an extended period of time kills the battery. So, you got to make sure that the battery that you're getting is a good battery. How can you do that? Well, you can ask them when they got this shipment of batteries. It's worth it to take the time. If you're at Best Buy, go to the Best Buy counter, ask them, hey, when did you get these shipment of batteries in? Because there's really no like sell by date, you know, or other information that you may need. So try to figure that out. I'm not sure if, if you could plug in the drone and the battery when you get home to find out that information, but it would be worthwhile information. Um, she could try to deep cycle the battery again, but if I understand this correctly, DJI has a warranty on batteries, and I believe she's she is within that warranty period. Oh, that would be great, because those are not cheap, as everybody listening knows. 
No, they're not cheap. And the thing is, is that, uh, it, uh, man, you know what? It's just one of those things that it's just kind of sucks. There's not really a good way to d- determine, you know, if the batteries are. This is this is kind of why I always buy from Amazon. Why would Amazon make that a better Amazon's, situation? Amazon's return policies are different from mm. DJI. So, mm. um Let's see. Yeah, I wonder how long you've had that because, Marianne, because I believe theirs is a 60-day just sort of without question return, right? In most cases, Amazon. That is correct. Um, okay. So there is, it looks like a six-month period, warranty period of main parts. Let's see, battery. Six months and charge cycle less than 200 times. Man, I'm going to be se- I'm gonna be sending some batteries back. <laughs> 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 I just figured out that, uh, uh, yo, DJ, I got some batteries that I think I need to send you. <laughs> wow, I thought it was like 90 days. It is six months and a charge cycle less than 200 times, according to DJI.com forward slash service forward slash policy. Send the battery back. Wow. Get a new one. Yeah, that's a no-brainer then. It totally is. Wow. But another thing that's nice about Amazon is that you get a replacement like that. It's quicker. Yeah, it's way yeah, faster. Yeah, that's true. So. Of course, you could order a new one. Of course, that costs money, but you can order a new one while you're waiting on your replacement to come, obviously. True. But that takes uh, fundage. It does take fundage. As they say. It would be nice, Paul and I were talking off the air, so to speak, that it would be nice if batteries had some sort of a... Uh, manufacture date, kind of like tires do within the codes on the tires. That tells you it was exactly. The tires. Yeah, it tells you exactly when they were uh, manufactured, and obviously you decide whether or not um, it's too old or not based because on that information. Because tires can sit for a long time and get a flat spot, right? Yeah, they can, or they just sit for a long time, and then the uh, the rubber de- starts to deteriorate yep. over time. And if it's stored in a hot environment, I learned mm-hmm. that the hard way because of the expedition, mm-hmm. because the truck weighs so much. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Interesting. Well, that's good news, though, that she can send it back and, True. and get a new one. So hopefully that yeah. works out well Shout out for to you, Mary DJI Anne. for a killer warranty, too. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, I didn't know that. They probably liked having that buried in there, not necessarily. I know, right? Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> so how long is your warranty period, and how long can you wait to return batteries? Six months. Wow. On that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. If you have a question, go to astronew.com, leave us a review. If you think the information was valuable and you want to share it with a friend, we would really appreciate that. Uh, That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. (laughs) 